video, I'll be showing you how I'm going to set my lessons up on Edulink um, for the remote learning period. So the example I'm going to use are my year 10s, which I will see on Friday, the 8th period 4. And all I want them to do is join the Google meeting. Obviously, you'll have your own things you want to do with them. So I'm going to copy the invitation link. And in Edulink, uh, let's go back to the start of Edulink, I'm going to go to Homework. And by setting it as homework, it will be easier for them to kind of revisit and manage. And there's a few clever things we can do. So I'm going to add the homework, class 10C, select all my students, in we go. Right, so that title, I'm going to say Friday the 8th, period 4. I'm going to put the time of period 4, which is 12.20 in. And then I'm going to put 10C, which is how they appear in Google Classroom. And so at a glance, they'll know kind of the day, what period, what time they need to be there, and kind of who they are called in that in that period of time. That could be like their Sims code, but because um, they'll have a lot of Google Classroom groups by now and it's going to be helpful for them, for them to know which one they're dealing with. So uh, for me, it's computer science. The due date, I'm going to set to Friday. So that's when the lesson will take place. But here's where we can get clever. On the available on, I'm going to click on here and only make it available from the 7th, so the day before. And I'm going to go for 3 o'clock. And what this means is if we if we all did this and we could set up our whole week in advance but make sure that the lessons didn't become available until the day before and but at three o'clock every day five new shiny lessons would just appear in their homework um, with everything they need um, and it's all kind of scheduled so they don't get overwhelmed with stuff all turning up at once. So I'm going to set my whole week up in advance and do it this way. So for this group, uh, I'm just going to write my message. Um, we will be starting on algorithms this week. Please just join the meeting. Um, you obviously may need to put more if you've got like year sevens who haven't used it very much, but um, I think my year tens will probably be okay. See you Friday. And uh, I'm not going to bother with expected duration or collection time or anything, but this available from I think is going to be quite useful. So I'm going to add that now. And then in here, so this is my whole week uh, pretty much, um, NQT, not as many lessons. And here you can see this is pretty much how it will be appear for them. So they've got everything they need about the period, the subject, uh, and then obviously there is a certain duplication. This is the available from. Um, but that's that's absolutely fine. But for them, if we set that available from date, they will only see like the day they're on and then eventually the, the next day so they won't have it all turning up at once. I hope that's useful and um, I hope we can give them a really good experience because this is some, there's some excellent tools on here.